Hello, my name is George Perez, and I'm the head baseball coach at St. Thomas University. I've been coaching baseball at the high school and college level for the past 14 years. I would like to share some of the recent history of St. Thomas University's baseball program. Some of you might not know that the Baltimore Orioles practiced and used their spring training facilities here at St. Thomas from 1979 to 1989. The Major League team practiced here and played their Major League games at Miami Stadium in downtown Miami. St. Thomas University's baseball program has a very rich history of the baseball coaches that have coached here in the past. In 1981, Brother Herb had the winningest season with a 25-21 and 21 record at the time and then left St. Thomas and went to Columbus High School where he became a high school legend in Miami, Florida. In 1982, Palmineri was hired to replace coach Brother Herb. In the six years that he was here between 1982 and 1988, Palmineri established a tremendous winning program with a 179 and 122 record. He left St. Thomas in 1988 and went to the Air Force Academy for six years, then was a head baseball coach at Notre Dame and currently is a head baseball coach at LSU where he won the national championship in 2009. In 1988, after Palmineri's departure, Al Avila assumed the head coaching job here at St. Thomas. Al Avila was Palmineri's assistant coach for three years before he became the head coach. He did a tremendous job averaging 28 wins a year. In 1992, Al Avila left St. Thomas and accepted a front office job with the Florida Marlins. From that point on, he became the assistant general manager for the Detroit Tigers in the major leagues. In August of 1992, St. Thomas hired Jim Pizzolatto, a former assistant at the University of Miami baseball team. Jim Pizzolatto was here for four seasons. In 1996, he was the first coach to ever take St. Thomas University to the NAIA College World Series. In August of 1996, St. Thomas University hired coach Manny Mantrana. Manny Mantrana became a legend at St. Thomas by having the winningest season with 54 wins in 1997. He was the only coach to ever take St. Thomas University to three college World Series in 1998, 2000, and 2007. St. Thomas University has won many championships in its recent history. It's won the Florida Sun Conference eight times it's gone to the regional tournament 12 times. It's won four regional championships and appeared in the NAIA College World Series four times in 1996, 1998, 2000, and 2007. Besides winning championships and having great coaches, St. Thomas University has fostered some great players. We have had five players that graduated or left St. Thomas, gone on to major league careers. Their names are Joe Clay, Dane Johnson, Kiko Calero, Juan Alvarez, and Vinny Chalk. Not only has St. Thomas University produced major league players, but 55 players over the last 30 years have signed professional contracts. Today, STU baseball continues to compete at a very high level. In 2010, St. Thomas University lost 3-2 in the opening round of the College World Series. We continue to recruit good athletes and good students. The 2010 baseball team had a 3.0 GPA for the first time in 10 years. Today, St. Thomas Athletics has great facilities. We have Frank Esposito Stadium, which is home to the baseball team, and we have the Fernandez Center, which is home to men's basketball, women's basketball, and women's volleyball. It is also home to the sports administration program. We have a tremendous weight room and tremendous facilities for all the athletes to come and unite as a group. Our past coaches and players have created a great winning atmosphere here at St. Thomas University. We continue to do that today by striving for excellence and doing our very best on the field. Hopefully, St. Thomas University will be a winning program now and far into the future.